Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. As you can see, we're at Ena now. We have made the jump to 20 day, uh, actually ended up being 21 days after I got everything repaired uh, or up and running anyway. So let's go to the uh, mech bay real quick. So there's been a few minor changes. Um, I haven't got the avatar loaded out yet because I want to, I, I thought about making it like turning it into the new archer, but I want to do that in a way that is going to make it really good and not just like a copy clone of the archer. So I'm thinking about combining some of the uh, clan LRMs from the dervish um, to this mech and add some regular LRMs. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. I, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do, but it's going to be a, end up being a replacement for the archer. archer. Uh, one per person said I should make it a replacement for the Dervish, but I, I think I want to replace the Archer in the main lance. As much as I love the Archer, um, I might go back to it in the future, but right now I think this one is going to end up taking over for it. Um, that being said, the only thing I really changed, I think uh, the single tons of regular ammo that I had in the Dervish and the Archer, I replaced with the arrow ammo. Um, so I think it was one ton in the in the archer and two tons in the dervish. Now we do have um, uh, a double load of regular ammo in each. I didn't want to replace that because it's giving us basically a ton and a half, well, two and a half tons roughly of ammo for those two ton slots. So, and I know we've been coming close on some missions where we need the extra ammo. So I left that in for now. See how it goes. If we if it's working, I'll replace it with arrow ammo. But for now, I'm gonna leave it. And I'm gonna have a look at the the, uh, the, the Shadowhawk lamb here real quick because I did make that change. So um, we ended up dropping the T-Samp cannon in, like I said last episode. We changed the heatsink kit from the um, prototype double heatsink kit just to a regular double heatsink kit. We didn't need any more than that. Um, the heat efficiency is actually really good in this mech because we do have the exchanger in there too, right? So with all the jumping going on and all the firing, we'll be, you know, heat neutral for most of the time, I think. So this one will be just fine. Um, we could even drop the exchanger, but there's no, like, like lower the exchanger or change it out. Like if we take it out, um, we get, you know, four heat off. It's For me, that's a little dangerously close with all the jumping we're going to be doing. So I would not do that. Uh, in this arm, we've got the small improved heavy laser. Maximum range 180 meters, but we're really close to the enemy behind them, so we're, we're good there. And the ER small clan laser, uh, so 20 and 30 damage, so 50 damage, plus a T-SAMP, which does 5, not much, but 30 heat, uh, and all the other effects, which are great. So I'm really hoping this works out. I don't have an upper shoulder recoil that I can add to this, unfortunately. We do have the fire control system recall, so I'm going to see what the chances to hit are. Hopefully they're not too low. Uh, and I'd also left the tag barrage on here too, just because um, it's it's versatile. If we get it, if we can get it into a good spot and use it, that's great. Uh, so that's that. And everything else is pretty much the same. So let's just uh, confirm this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and take that mission now. We're ready to go. We're going to have go ahead and launch this contract. See how it goes here. If it launches, here we go. So we're gonna take the second lance out and we'll bring in the main lance. Okay, Hopper and Arachne, Hotshot and Queen Bee. And let's get our mechs into play here. Archer, Dervish, Black Knight and Shadowhawk. Let's do this. Yep, we know. Command interface. Okay, here we go. This should be fun. So lunar environment, overheating is going to be key. This mission is called Titan Attack, or as I like to call it, Attack on Titan, because we're going to attack that that uh, that assault mech and try and get as many pieces of it as we can. Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, we don't have... That's our guy. So the enemy, Arctic Wolf, Archer, Toro. What the hell's a Toro? Is this a... Oh, we don't know what kind of archer that is yet. What's this guy? A Merlin. They're pretty damn close to this base already. Wow. Commander. Um. Crap, man. 
if we move and attack, they're gonna we're gonna have such a lousy chance to hit. Yeah, if I reserve, they might just shoot the buildings. What do our guys go on here? 18 and 19. They're on 17, 17, 19. Oops. It's frustrating because... Uh, okay. Gonna reserve. Holding for tactical advantage. Let's see what they do. That's a lot of damage. I think these buildings are pretty solid though. They gotta be. Yeah, 325, so we might get, well that's only got 100. We might get lucky out of this. How can I help? All right, Hopper, uh, uh, let's get on that guy. The guy that just fired, please. He's a laser boat, so uh, let's keep this guy nice and toasty. Wow, still bad chances to hit, but that's fine. Affirmative. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, he didn't move very far. Orders. Let's give him the what for then. He's not going to move very far. We'll just give him the what for. Um... Yeah, let's try to hit him for as much as we can. Alright. Oh shoot, you know what I forgot to do? I, I gave a... Uh, uh, screw you! Friendly structure down, five must... Re oh shit, five must survive. I must survive. Well, you can see the archer. See, he hasn't got... Ah, God damn it. Yeah, let's see if we can finish this guy up. Um, gonna warlord this, and we're gonna go all out on him. Hopefully we can smash this guy in one shot, but we'll see. Yep. That's a kill. You got that right! What was I saying? I can't remember what I was saying now. Come on. Target a vehicle. There's a chopper right there you can shoot at. And you know, that's what you want to shoot at. Come on, buddy. Don't just think about it. Do it. thinking real hard. Hope he didn't crash. Nope. Wow, that sucks. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, as I was saying, I gave Arachne um, sensor lock. So I should be using that more often. Let's get the hell over here. Can I not see that guy from there? I can't see him? How can I not s That doesn't make any sense. All right, let's do this. T-SAM, 52. So that ain't that bad. That's actually pretty good. 
58 or 59 on this guy. This guy is the faster of the two. How hot is this guy? This guy's pretty hot. So if we sh oh, he had rocket launchers. That's why he did so much damage. Let's shoot this guy. Taking the shot. Yeah, we missed with the cannon, and we missed with the barrage, of course. <sighs> yeah, so I gave Arachne sensor locks. So I'm gonna have to be using that more often. Wow, Centurion, that's actually doing damage. Cool. Shit, they go first. Okay. These are our guys that are engineer guys, I guess. Shoot somebody. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Commander. Can you get a good shot at that archer? You can. I think we can move. I think we can sensor lock and fire if I'm not mistaken. I've got a sensor lock. Right? Yeah. Beautiful. Now, um I wanna try for the kill or do I want that's a hundred that's a lot of armor. Let's um barbecue this guy. Here it comes. Christ, Hoppa. Why are you always in the worst spots? Alright, let's just not move. Let's just not move. Now, um... Fifty-four with incendiaries on this guy. Eighteen. Let's continue firing at the archer. Okay. So we were able to shut the him shut him the hell up. Now is the is this guy the assault mech, the Merlin? What's up, boss? How far can you get? Woo! Okay, um, gonna leave those off, gonna leave the incendiaries on though, we can add heat to this guy, great, and we're gonna fire, oh yeah, guy's a murderer, right, he looks wobbly, have a seat buddy, standing by, All right, let's mess with this guy. That's a lot of Artemis. Roger that. Friggin' T-Cent missed again. The bonus of having the flamers, though, guys, and I know I've said this before, t Sent's kind of cool. We get one shot, and if we miss, you know, I can do 50 damage, but that's it. At least with the flamers, I had seven shots. And if I hit with one, we apply heat, and if you know, I don't know. I know I've only fired it twice now, but it's, to me, it's like, unless you've got a massive ch chance to hit with something, like our snub-nosed Goss, having those big weapons are just, it, I don't know, it just seems like a waste of space to me. I guess I'm just, I guess I'm just frustrated because uh, that last mission that we played, we had that VSPL, large VSPL, and didn't hit once. Not once. And it had, I mean, we had like 40 some odd, 50, 46 percent chance to hit a lot of the times too. So you thought, you figured we'd hit at least once. Receiving you. Nope. Not today.
Let's get this Arctic Cheetah. He's standing up, so let's hammer him. Gonna leave the incendiaries off. And yeah, we'll fire the rest. Oh. Sorry, Stormwolf. I hope it's just these four. Usually by round seven, we got another wave, so... Commander. I just don't want to be out of position for that next wave. Now, there was a direct line of sight somewhere here. Here we go. A little warm, but we'll we'll handle that. We'll worry about that later. Let's barbecue this guy. He's got one rock at 20 left. Is he warm enough, or do we want to just... I think we want to wreck him. Let's go for the wreck. Solid connection, that one. So we should be able to just blow on him now and knock him over. Centurion might do it. Yep. Have a seat, buddy. Hull breach. Battle fist destroyed. Christ, that archer might even be a good improvement for ours with all those missile hard points. They're most likely all in the torsos, though, but still, that would be kind of nice. Um, yeah, let's just sit here and fire at this guy. Well, at least we got it on him. Okay, Hopper, we want to knock this other guy over here. How much has this guy got left, though? Paramedium lasers, so we don't have to worry about that guy. Let's go after... Wait, Stormwolf's down too, right? Yeah. Let's target this leg. And I'm going to use just standard ammo. I don't want to use the incinerator, I don't think, on this guy. See if we can take his leg. We've got good clustering, so there goes the torso. Arm, whole Fire side. Right through his armor. Did he bail? Or no, we lo he lost his engine. Okay. See ya. He bailed. So after this round, we should know if they're going to have reinforcements. This guy's not in good shape. Come on, fall over again. Nope. He can't move anyway. He's overheating and the T-SAMP's removed all his movement pretty much. Oh, yeah. Okay. We got one there, and I think we got one back over here. Yep. Okay, so we got one set of guys close. What's this guy? Prowler. Reconnaissance hover. This is the first time we've taken down four guys in the first, uh, like on the first wave here. Prowler multi-terrain and a Warhammer 2C. I think that's 80 tons, if I'm not mistaken. Then we got a group of guys over here. Clint. Who knows what else is going to be there. Um, okay, so the 2C most likely has got the two PPCs. So let's work on yes, getting that guy overheated a little bit. Uh, they just landed, so they're going to be... Oh, fuck. How do we keep them from attacking the buildings? I got a reserver. We're not going to even hit them. Let's get these guys shooting if we can. Okay, Hopper, we got to get you up here. Because these guys are dangerously... Where is? Where are they? Over here, I think. Right here. Dangerously close to these buildings here. Although this is our thumper turret. Anti-tank turret is what? Two rocket packs and a heavy rifle. That's useless, pretty much. But this guy should be able to do some damage on them. Approaching. But we got 200... 325, 200. Okay, we got to get up here. All right, Hopper. 
It's full sprint, please. I've got your back. Now I am going to take a pot shot at this guy. That's a Clint. Oh, there's the Atlas. There's the hundred tonner, yellow jacket gunship. Uh, we're going to pot shot the Atlas. We can't. We don't have a, <laughs> the ability to do that. Wow, really? What else do we got? Point nine. Not using up any heat, so let's just fire in the Clint. We got lucky, great. If not, well, yeah. God, I miss. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Now we've got plenty of guys on this side, so we're gonna leave Hot Shot over here. Got something you want done? Or should I sprint him over this side? I think he needs to go this way. That'll cool him off a little bit. Um, we've got plenty of guys on this side, like our allies and stuff. We really need to get Hotshot over there to gauge the Atlas. Who's moving? vehicles. Okay, at least they're shooting our vehicles and such. Commander. I need you over here. Confirmed. Look at that evasion, man. That's just insane. That's not, that's not even without, like, that's really without Phantom Mech, too, right? It's crazy. Okay, we're going to leave Arachne over here, I think. going to try and get her up a little higher so we she can actually pivot to shoot the other guys over here. Once we get a good visual, we can pivot her if we have to. Seems these guys are targeting the mechs, which is good. And I think with with one good uh, turn full of incendiaries on that uh, Warhammer, should be able to handle the problem. That guy's going to go down very shortly. Rackney's going on 13. What does this Warhammer go on? I have no idea. Ooh, we can get a direct line of sight over there. To what, though? The yellow jacket. It has not moved yet. Uh, I'm going to reserve her again. I'm only going to fire two launchers, I think. I think I'll fire the two LRM-10s so we can drop a bunch of heat. I want to be able to go all out once we've got a good uh, visual on somebody. You know, it would have been nice if I did take Warlord to be able to drop the heat. But, you know, I think in those those times when we can do sensor lock for indirect fire and stuff, it's going to just help out overall. What was that guy? Is that the Atlas? Atlas has got a PPC, doesn't it? PPC AC-20 or something like that? Medium lasers, LRM-20. Right? Atlas, what's this guy? Just a vehicle. That's the yellow jacket, that's the Clint. Okay. Commander. Let's get up this way. Not the best location, but it gives us a chance to fire over here. Maybe we can kill this yellow jacket. What do we got? 52. That ain't bad. We'll leave these two off. We're going to go with Artemis. Hopefully apply some good damage to this guy. Okay, not bad. Not bad. We dropped our heat, which is great. Beautiful. 
It's going to give us the opportunity to use Incendiaries next turn. Hopefully we can use it on the Atlas or something. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, rocket packs. Whole lot of misses. Follow my lead. Yeah, but we should go. If you went first, then we would follow your lead, but apparently everyone else is going to go before you, so there's that. Don't overheat, buddy. Don't do it. Yeah, we got enough guys on this side to cover over here. Fuck you and shooting the buildings. Ready for orders. Still not within range, but getting closer. I mean, I guess the other thing we can do with that guy is put the the uh, level six mortar on that guy. All right, since I don't know how good this atlas is, we're going to phantom mech. And then we're going to jump our ass. Ooh. Can't get in as far as I thought we could. Let's get to here. Get some eyes up. <laughs> This is the Strix Stealth VTOL. When I looked at it, I s and I clicked on it, I thought it said Strix Evil VTOL. Same difference. Okay, there's the Atlas. Crap chance to hit. Small on him. Let's just do this. There you go. Enjoy that. Yeah, I really like the um, the way they've implemented. Oh, I can't even see that guy. Like they've been. I like the way they've implemented the barrages. Now, we can see him, which means we can drop incendiaries on his ass. Hopefully, slow him down, and then he can take the barrage. But I think he'll get out of there. I think he will get out of there. All right, get up high enough. Spare the way. I'm coming in fast. Is that what you call fast, dude? You don't know from fast. All right, let's put some incendiaries on this atlas. Target confirmed. Yeah, not much. Alright, keep doing damage to those guys. Just means I don't have to shoot at them. Order. Can you see the Atlas? You can't see the Atlas yet. He's like behind. Just do this. Well, let me sensor lock. Is it too far away? It's too far away. Can we lock this guy? No. Oh, we can. Got a lock. Okay. Well, help our allies out. Um. God damn! Really. Uh, where's that Strix? I think this is the guy with the PPC. Uh, we got lots of incendiaries, so... Actually, you know what? Let's switch back to Artemis. Better chance to hit. Good damage. Let's just hammer this guy. Hopefully we can kill him. No, but he's panicking. Alright. Hopefully give him a, uh... Make them think twice about shooting the buildings rather than us. 
Look at the evasion on here. <laughs> Look at this. One, two, three, four. It's probably a good tw maybe 10 or 12. If I had to guess it was 10. Evasion. Yeah, good. You're shooting at me. Okay, keep on those guys. I don't think they can see any buildings from down there. It's these guys here on this flank that I'm worried about. Nice. Come on, hit the same spot I did. Okay, got the structure exposed. Beautiful. As much as I want the Warhammer 2C pieces, I, I want to succeed in this mission more than anything, so... Still don't have the ability to target a, uh... Still can't see him from over there, eh? Let's do a reserve here. Wow, she's fast. Okay. <laughs> there goes all our initiative. I don't want to just target a random vehicle. I want to make sure we get a mech here. What are we on? Round six? We got this round plus four more. So not bad. I mean, we're doing okay. Commander. Okay, you can see... the Atlas, but... it's too far for the snub nose. So let's just get up here. We're gonna target the... I don't want to shoot past our... Uh, I know she's got, like, what? Ten chevrons? Four, five... 11. So not bad. What can we shoot at this guy? Just a tag? That's it? I can only shoot tag on people? Sure. Shooting at the Atlas anyway, I guess, eh? <laughs> Failed to connect. Ah, that's alright, buddy. That Atlas sees you now. Yes, Commander. I think he realizes you're the big deterrent. Let's, um... See if we can get lucky with this. I want to get into um, here. Is that? That's 81%. 81%. Let's get into here. Copy that. It's not 81%. It's a whole lot less. Uh, I'm going to Vigilance, because I don't know if this guy's going to be able to hit us or not. Let's see, if, if we hit this guy, you know, he's not getting out of the circle. Target confirmed. No. I don't know, man. t -Sam's just too iffy for me. It's just too iffy. I know the Flamers are iffy too, but when you have seven shots as opposed to one... You're not getting the same effects, but if you land three or four of them, you get enough heat to be able to slow them down, so... Aye, aye. Don't you destroy the buildings. Okay, we're not we're not going to keep him from uh, getting out of that barrage. That's who, the Clint? That's the Yellow Jacket, 13%. And 9 on the, v on the uh, Strix. Let's go after the yellow jacket, see if we can remove it. Say goodbye. Nope. Commander. All right, kiddo. I got a plan. Is it a good plan? No, but is it a plan? It is. Okay, we're going to shoot at this guy. We're going to turn these two off. Switch these two to incendiary. We'll get a little bit of heat on if we can. 
won't matter that much. It'll slow them down a tiny bit, but not much. Yeah, I thought they'd shoot at her. She's really all they can see anyway. Yeah, you're so pleasant. So I did make the, make the decision between episodes to fix the men's shen, although I stripped all the gear off it. We're going to put it in storage, I think. And my goal, once once we finish these missions off, my goal is going to be to um, work at getting enough sea bills to get our third mech bay up and running. Uh, that way we can get a third lance up and running. But I want to also work towards getting um, the bulk dropship. We're making enough sea bills now every month that I don't have to worry about our payments, so we're okay that regard. But that that extra dropship's another two hundred and fifty thousand a month, so we have to be like pulling off a fair number of missions for good money, like getting good salvage and good money. Our salvage is really what's making us our sea bills. Ooh, see ya. Yeah, man. Keep shooting him. Did the Atlas get out of there? Yeah, he did, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Ordered. Still can't see the... Uh... I was hoping to get a direct line of sight on that Warhammer, but I'm, I'm not able to do that. Shoot, that's not what I want. That's a little better. Let's get up here. Good to go. Still indirect fire, right? Oh, he's down the hill there. That's why. We we'll probably have to come. I don't know. I'm hoping we can. I don't think we'll be able to get that warhammer. Don't think we're gonna get this atlas either. I gotta choose one or the other. Uh, let's remove this VTOL. Let's go this route. Locking on. Nice. I was worried there we weren't going to get it. That's going to hurt. So that looks like a new mechanic, eh? The hull breach? Okay, B. Standing by. Much better. Much better. Let's hammer this guy. Firing at enemy okay, T Sam's up. Beautiful. Do your stuff. He's firing and he's got like he's already ridiculous heat. Got your back. Ooh, Hopper's got some, uh, got a target now. Oh, he's got two targets. Wait. Oh, I can see the Atlas right. now. Eyes on the prize, baby. Eyes on the prize. Gonna warlord this up, because why not? And firing. Let's soften this guy up. Start stripping some of that armor. Man, we got two turns after this. Somebody shoot that fucking Clint! I wonder why that yellow jack is not moving. Waiting for orders. Ooh. Oh! No, 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 no. But you know what? We can't hit him with a snub nose from here. But we can't shoot at him, so we will. Wow, that's it, eh? Sure. Firing on target. Uh, a couple hits.
Yeah, it's a tough choice. I mean, we only had a few turns. We've got two turns left. I don't think it's going to be enough to pull the Atlas down. If we can get close with the next turn, close enough to use the uh, Goss, maybe. Should have maybe come after this 2C. I mean, I could, st I still could. I could turn Hopper around. This guy's in the valley now, though. He's not going to get close enough to do any damage. We got hot shot on this side. More than enough to handle these guys coming in. I think we should be okay on the buildings. I don't think they'll be, be able to take the buildings this turn. Or in the next couple turns. Really their only hope is the um, the Atlas if he can get close enough. But he's stuck down there with the Clint. So. Ooh, 60 on the Prowler. Well, that Clint's taking some heavy damage. I'll break him in two. Will ya? Yes, Commander. Three rounds holding up for re reinforcements. Eight, nine, and ten. So we can get two turns of fire on this guy. So I'm going to rush Arachne over here. We're going to fire off light on this guy. And we're going to go with incendiary. We're going to drop a bit of heat so we can get a couple of rounds in of full fire. Yeah, not much. Whatever. Can't start fires on the moon anyway. No oxygen. Okay, B. Uh, what are we doing? Once again, we're going to Vigilance before. Huh. I think we stay on the Atlas. Let's keep him, let's keep him T-Sempt. Um, but I, I am going to fire everything though. Copy that. Beautiful. If we can keep him from moving, it means it's going to be way easier to hit, hit him. Once we get close with that uh, snub, it'll be like almost guaranteed leg shots and stuff, I'm hoping. Hoping. We got three rounds, so... Well, three more rounds with hot shot. How can I help? Um, 54 in this guy, huh? Yeah. I mean, we could go incendiary. But I want to at least pull him down. If we can't pull him down for max salvage, like the most pieces we can get out of him, I would rather at least take him down and get at least one piece out of him. So let's soften him up. We'll just keep softening him up with Hopper. We'll see how Arachne does next turn on the Warhammer. Warhammer's taking a little bit of damage, but I don't know if it's enough to, to peel him down in two turns from the side. Firing on a turret, eh? Oof. Good heat sinking. At least you're moving forward. It's closing the gap between you and Hotshot. Hotshot's going to tear you a new arsehole right in the front of you. Okay, we got a shot on him now. Roger. Not a good one, but it's a shot. And we're going to keep off... I want to be able to move fully. So we're going to keep these guys off. 
I'm gonna wait till it gets close to be able to use uh, Warlord. We got two more turns after this one, so. Oh yeah. Oh, he's got an AC10, not a 20. Hit, they carry a 20. What one is this? What version of the Atlas is this? 7RS. Yeah, keep hammering them. Hope that wasn't me. Nah, it's all Atlas damage. Okay, good. Let's give this guy a whole lot of fuck you. Wow, that's uh... Pretty good defense. Oh yeah, because this is point blank. I took the dead fire off too, damn it, I should have left it on. Well... Don't forget to do this. Not that it matters. Just gives our allies a better chance to hit, I guess. Oh, shit. What a difference! He didn't have any evasion, but what a difference. Holy crap. There's a whole lot of fuck you for you. That's a massive difference. Ooh. Have a seat, buddy. You don't look so good. So I guess the sensor lock must defeat all, all stealth. It's got to. That's interesting. I'm sure people have told me this. People are like, I've been telling you that since the beginning. You just haven't been listening. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. I haven't been listening. Well, I have been, but I just haven't been understanding, I, I would imagine. I'm bad like that. I'm sorry, guys. I just am. Why does it say I've got a direct line of sight, yet when I go here, I don't? That's interesting. It's probably a little bug, I guess, but... Can we get a direct line of sight on the Atlas anywhere? It's still indirect. Um... It is 72, though. I don't want to heat him up. I just want to hit him. Ooh, yeah, baby. He's got a large laser in there, too. Oh, head hit. Okay, B. Let's, uh... It's two... T end of two turns, so not this turn, end of next turn. So if we don't kill this guy by then, we can take him down. Now I should probably turn off. We gotta... Fuck it. Shoot everything. Enemy outflank. Bringing the pain. We'll see her there, right? Lifting up. Okay. It's tricky in the lunar environment, man. You try to manage your heat and it's not an easy thing. We might be able to take both these guys down. We still got hotshot left. As long as our allies keep shooting at that Warhammer, there's a good chance we could kill it. 
get at least one piece out of it. Like, he hasn't been penned yet, I don't think. Yeah, it looks like his internal is still intact. Good to go. All right, buddy. Um, we got to close. We want a good chance to hit. Can we get a good shot on this atlas? The Clint is blocking him, though. Nice move on the Clint's part. I'm already there. However, that being said, if I miss the atlas, I could hit the Clint, and that would be it for him. 73 on the Clint, 42 on this guy. He's down to LRM-15 and SRM-4. Maybe I just, dis well, I shouldn't destroy the, I mean, I could just destroy the Clint in one shot, but I think we want Atlas parts, so we're going to go after the Atlas. Let's go this route. Uh, I'm not going to Warlord to next turn. Wow, he hit again with that thing. Damn, man. You're a beast, Hotshot. He's going down! Have a seat, buddy. That's two head hits. Don't know how good the pilot is, but that's two. Come on, keep shooting that Warhammer. Is that the Warhammer getting up? It was. Alright. We got one more turn to kill that guy. Well, he got 9 out of the 12 with the AMS. Yeah, man. Oh, the Atlas is knocked out. The artillery got the Atlas. Oh, <gasps> really? He already got the Atlas. Oh, nice. I mean, he was open up on a couple spots, so not much he can do. I don't know why that yellow jack is not moving back there. Yes, Commander. Christ, I want to move so I get some evasion, but the problem <laughs> problem is I move between me and my allies, and they're just going to shoot me. I know they will. Let's get to a point where it's the side, so if they shoot me, they're not getting me in the back. Freaking allies, man. Okay, um... Let's just shoot him. Yeah. We could have tried targeting somewhere, but... The big problem with trying to target somewhere is that only a handful of rounds are going to hit there and it's not going to do anything enough. At least this way we can soften them up so hopefully our allies can take them out before the end of the turn. It's the last turn anyway. System holding. Okay, Hopper. I've got your back. Twenty-eight, huh? Doesn't matter what I use. Let's just go Artemis. Doesn't really matter. I'll breach check. Take that as a lesson. Panicking. Maybe our allies can make him bail. This Clint's about to die horribly, though. Ooh, another head hit. If he gets knocked over, that mech's ours, maybe. Yes, Commander. You do me a favor. You know how much I don't like Clint's, right? You take care of that guy for me. Perhaps with extreme prejudice.
salvage that. Yeah, who cares? Warlords is a bit overkill on that one too, but I should have probably done it. It's the last turn. Okay, B, can you get back over here? You can't. Let's not, uh, yeah, let's not fill up our loot table with shit from the uh, helicopter. Okay, come on guys, you can do it. Take him out. Come on guys, finish him off. Knock him down, knock him, there's the knockdown, and he's out. Yes! Thank you. My god, that was so close. Beautiful. I can't breathe. Yeah, good luck on the yellow jacket. I don't know why he didn't... Huh. Holy shit, Commander, let's not do that anytime soon. Why not? That was fun. Worked out in the end somehow, eh? Yeah, I was really worri worried there when they uh, hit those first two buildings early on. I was like, oh shit, we're going to fail this, but we did okay. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of glad those guys dropped in where they did. They were far enough back. So 383,000, that's nice. That's going to more than cover our damages, which we really didn't take much at all. All right, let's see what we got here. So, archer parts, four of them, the 6W, 10 missile slots and four laser slots. There's an upgrade for the archer if we want it. Four atlas parts. <sighs> 60 ton Merlin parts, what else do we have? Arctic wolf parts, Warhammer 2C, 80 tons. You know, as much as I want the atlas, realistically, I just don't have the sea bills to put that thing into battle. I could just leave it in storage, I guess. I know I'll be stupid. People will be like, you're stupid for not taking that, but Clan XL engine. I think that's going to be our other thing that we take. I'm going to put it there for now. Garnesium, ultralight gyros, heat banks. we got lots. Of, we don't have heat banks. we got um, exchangers. Lots of clan gear, man. The Warhammer 2C though. What does this thing got on it? Two ballistic, five laser, and two missile, one support. At 80 tons. Plus it's the 2C, so it's going to have clan gear all over it. Yeah, going to go that route instead of the Atlas. The Atlas will just, as much as I want the 6W too, because that's that's clearly an upgrade for Hopper right there. We, we give him another Archer. I should just do that. But we can't fill up the missile slots with anything. We don't have any light enough for that. All right, Warhammer 2C it is. Clown XL engine it is. See what we get out of this. Okay, we got a Clint part. Wow. Arctic Wolf part. Uh, battle computer tracking. That's not bad. A 25 ton core. Boy, oh boy. Let's, uh, let's just flush that out real quick. Uh, another exchanger. Ballistic fire control. Standard ones can go. Clan ferro fibers. That's good. We've got regular ferro, but I'd rather have the clan. Omnipod lower arm. We'll hang on to the. We've got two of these. I just hang on to it for now. Fusion cores, we can get rid of those. Hang on to the ammo. Stealth armor. We've got better armor. We've got the chameleon armor, so I think we can just go ahead and sell this. It's not a lot, but we've got better armor than that. Heat sink plus one. That's nice. 
That's really pricey in the store, too, those things. All right. Well, that's what we got. All right. So 5,000 in damage is beautiful. Those base defense missions, man, it's just like easy stuff is what that is. Okay, that's the end of that mission. Uh, let's have a look at the command center really quick. I, I didn't check what missions we've got here. Doesn't look like a lot. Doesn't look like anything. Oh, we're in the Torian Concordat. That's why, I bet you. Shit, man, we need to jump out of here. Oh, I didn't think of that. Where are we? Yeah, I didn't think of that. Torians hate us. We can't get any missions from these guys. We're deep in Torian territory. It takes forever to go here. This is like a this is like a uh, star cluster. So um, yeah, we're gonna have to jump somewhere close. Burton's what? Two skull. One and a half. Two and a half. I mean, we could go to. Um, How's Davy in here? Maybe in Commonwealth. Pick up some missions there. 15 days, though. Like, what's this one? 11 days. Middale. It's not bad. Repair and refit, and then come back into Torian Concordant and do some damage, maybe. It's a lousy planet, though, because there's, like, nothing here. Former Star League, but there's no population. There's no store here for us either. Like we can't get access to the store in this planet, unfortunately. Um, too long. Too long. Too long. Fourteen days. That's not bad. Three skull. Three. Oh, that's another crappy planet, though. Well, that'll get us out of there. Fourteen days. How long until the end of the month? I'm gonna have to jump between episodes here. So we've got. We're okay to. I mean, we've got the sea bills for the end of the month. 15 days, so we can get there and get do a mission. Now, some of our mechs will be back. Let's manage our tasks a bit better here. Burkut and Dervish. Bushwhacker will be back. Now, I did outfit this Bushwhacker. I'll show you when we get to the next planet. Yeah, everything should be back by the time we get there. Manchet, I'm going to put in storage. Mortis, I might just drop into storage for now, too. So we can get another Lance going. Because we, I mean... Yeah, we're getting close. Let's have a look at the mech bay real quick. So this bushwhacker is going to move forward and replace the Min Shen right away. Once I can get this guy up and running, um, then we'll figure out how we're going to move stuff around. Most likely it'll be the Centurion that gets dropped. Uh, and maybe we put the Ultra Auto Cannon on the, on the Victor instead of the LBX, which I think is probably a good idea. Um... Yeah. Oh yeah, the Victor too. Uh, if I refit real quick here. I went ahead and did some modifications on this guy slightly. We were talking about the VSBL having some problems. So I, I put a cooling jacket on the arm, which we had, to reduce the weapon's heat from the large VSPL and the, the weapon mount, which gives us plus two accuracy. That's all I had to put on this thing. So it is a little better. And then this LBX is what, 11 tons? Yeah, and I think the Ultra is 11 tons too, isn't it? Or is it 12? Might be 12. Let me double check here. Because we can take the Centurion out and put the Ultra on. It's 10 tons. Higher recoil, though. Um, but that's good. That means we get three. T we can put three tons of ammo in. Let me just see this. So we pull that. We pull the Centurion. Hmm. LBX two recoil. Minus one recoil for that. I mean we could leave this breacher off. Much as I want to use multi target, I haven't really been doing it. We've been focus firing because of the chances to hit we've had. So I mean we could go ahead and Yeah, replace with the this with the Ultra. Put three tons of ammo in. It's going to increase the heat and the recoil, but we can pull out the Breacher 
I know this is plus one accuracy, minus one, well, minus one recoil, but we could go, that's offensive push accuracy, though. We could go ahead and, um, I think we still have one, do I not, recoil, yeah, we do have one recoil reduction, we could put that on there, too. That'll drop, that'll add one more recoil reduction and reduce the recoil to zero for this arm. Oh, it's already at, we'll be already at zero. Because minus one, minus two, and then minus one for the cockpit. Maybe we leave that. We Yeah, we'll do it that way. Just replace this. So that's, I think, what we'll do. Menchen can come out. I gotta fix this guy's armor, too. What the hell happened with the armor? I maxed out the armor on it. For, for some reason, the legs are reduced. What the hell? What the hell? There we go. Actually, let's just... I'll, I'll do that when we jump, because I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and um, outfit this guy somehow. We'll figure it out. But hopefully we'll be fighting with uh, two full lances once we get there, and we can make up the sea bill deficit, I think. It'll be just before the end of the month, so hope... I mean, we'll have enough sea bills to make it to the end of the month, but hopefully we'll have... be able to pull off a couple more missions. Like I said, I want to start generating a lot of sea bills to be able to get our um, third mech bay, which is 1.85 million. And then we need to go ahead and get our third mech bay upgraded to, uh, for it's only 100,000 though, to 100% efficiency. And then we can worry about drop size. It's 2.5 million for drop size, so that's the only problem. And I think maybe before we do that, we should probably get our power system and our habitat pod up and running. Just because I think we need these anyway to be able to continue along. This is only going to give us the option to drop one extra guy and we're not even going to be in control of them. I think that's actually here. Yeah, one additional mech, but we don't have control. We've got to be able to put use mech control and it's going to take a while. So I want to have the sea bills in the bank so we can just plow through this. So taking this stuff first I think is probably better. And of course continuing along with recreation. Now we're at 16 right now, but I had two, um, two encounters um that dropped it by five each one of them has come back and we've got one more to go so we're normally at 21 but we're not right now so anyway i'm going to leave this episode here guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below i really like to hear what you guys think about that t-semp cannon don't know i'm still up in the air with it we'll play with it a bit more but we'll see how it goes all right so until next time we'll see you later